may may sound silly like when you're outside they're watching this show it's just like yeah it's just a show uh, they're all like whatever why are they so so emotional with it but like when you're actually in these kinds of shows you can like like it's a pr pretty pretty big big uh, emotional stress for you today is the big day guys I did it I'm going to the finals I thought I was gonna get eliminated in the first round but here I am and I'm going to the finals. I'm so excited. I'm well rested, I'm ready. I'm more ready than I've ever been. And I'm more confident than I've ever been as well. I'm feeling excited. I'm in the finals, I'm in the finals. Here we are. Making the squad has changed me a lot. By coming here, I was really nervous at first because of my language, but now I think I'm getting better at it. And seeing each and every one have such an, a unique experience with this show just makes me so happy. So guys, what do you think we're doing today? I got it. I was there to talk. Just raise my voice. Well, let's hope this it's not a singing challenge. <laughs> I've learned so much from being here. They pushed me in ways that I never expected to be pushed. You know, I, I came here expecting a competition, a, more, a little more TFD based, but they've really got us out of our comfort zones. They've really like thrown us into all these different situations just to see how we perform. And it's gotten me to do things and get in front of the camera and do things I definitely wouldn't usually do. And for me, uh, I love it. I've absolutely loved every moment of it. Seven contestants from around the world came to Berlin for a chance to compete and win $10,000. We put them all through challenges that forced them outside of their comfort zone, and while some were able to adapt, others weren't. Friendships were forged and rivalries were made, and now we have four finalists remaining. Today, we crown one of them our champion. Welcome to Making the Squad Season 2 Finale. I think uh, my chances of winning are same as from every contestant. I think like the, the four people who are in finals, they all have very huge potential and they're all very, very great people. And I think like everybody has almost the same uh, chances of winning. No, I, I did think I was going to get to the finals. <laughs> I did think, but I mean, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. Everyone has developed so much. Everyone has made such a character development among these two weeks and it's amazing. The empathy in this house is insane. Everybody cares so much about everyone else. We don't want to sabotage each other. We're all helping each other, you know, off the camera and on the camera, you know, we're, we're making sure, pumping them up, you know, before the dress up challenge, you know, we're all like, yo, you got this, you got this, you got this, you know. There was a lot of emotion in some of the challenges. People, you know, scared because there's eliminations, but it's, it's an amazing experience being here. Throughout the show, I just remember to just keep saying myself and no matter what happens, at the end of the day, like I was always true to me. And I feel like the journey that I've been on with making the squad has just probably been one of the greatest journeys of my life. This is the happiest I've been in a really long time. of Making the Squad, the grand finale. Are you guys ready to get this show on the road? Please join me in welcoming your finalists. Introducing Jack. Tova. Penta Magic. And Tosh. 
Sasha. Oh, how's that for an entrance? Oof. Now that we can sit down, take a look around, all of these people came out here to see you today. Jack, question for you. Did you think you were going to make it this far? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tova, for you, what does it mean to be sitting here? A great honor, and I'm excited. I want to be with you guys. <laughs> Josh, you have plenty of capable contestants here. What do you think are your chances of taking the whole thing? Uh, I would say I have the most highest chance. Unfortunately, my voice isn't here, but I have other talents. I'll be out of proof today. We'll give you a pass. We saw how hard you worked in the last challenge. But Tasha, I gotta ask you, what would winning this entire thing mean to you? It would mean so much to me. It would just like be such a big confidence boost, and especially when I have like no self-esteem just being here, and I'm just so grateful to be here. I think it would just mean the world for me. Let's go ahead and meet our first juror, Carlos from G2. <laughs> Carlos, now you have spent a lot of time watching these contestants and also interacting with them. So I mean, for this entire competition, is did they give you everything that you would hope for? Oh, I, I believe so, yes. I mean, uh, looking back at uh, making the squad season one, I, I thought we already, you know, hit the peak in terms of the energy of the contestants, but uh, season two is proving me wrong, and I'm very happy that is, is the case. That's amazing. That's the best thing, actually, for a show like this. Behind me, we have G2 streamer Orb. <laughs> and, of course, Jordan from Nice Cactus. <laughs> like to point out some other familiar faces in the audience here. We have Daisy, Katie, and Nabori. So, one thing, only one thing, just choose one thing that you've learned or uh, that you're glad, you know, you've gone through throughout this week. Maybe about yourselves, maybe about... Yeah, for me it was uh, definitely getting out of your comfort zone and don't be scared of change. Maybe adapting would be the thing that I learned the most here. Awesome. Yeah, I learned that even though we've got seven people from all around the world, the passion for like gaming is the same through everywhere, you know? For me, it was embracing yourself. It doesn't matter like who you are, if you're awkward, if you're funny, if you're happy, if you're sad, just embrace who you are as a human being and just go with it. And just 100% just embrace who you are. Now, if you would want people to root for you, how would you chant? Let's do it now. Uh, stand up. You can stand up, stand to the front of the stage and face the audience. I would go because like Jack and Peck, they rhyme and then you go like, Jack, Peck, Jack, Peck, Jack. In New Zealand, we have a, a dance that we're doing for, before a rugby game. It's called the haka. And so, penta, 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 The winner gets ten thousand dollars. So. I want to understand what would be the most outrageous thing you guys would buy with it. Great. I will make a huge party. Like I said to all my... What happens in that party? Go ahead. You no, know, big, big, big bottle of Red Bull, big bottle of... Water? Of strong water, very strong water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would go to Burning Man, I would spin fire, I would burn down the statues or whatever, I'd go crazy, get the outfits. Getting married is pretty outrageous. And 10K to a wedding Woo! can make a pretty sick wedding. That's true. <laughs> a Mexican party full of every single type of taco. A gourmet, I'm, and I'm not talking about any taco, gourmet tacos. Like and, and piñatas, piñatas que, que no. Oh, piñatas. Yes, piñatas. piñatas, piñatas need to be. What's in the piñata? What's typically in the piñata, exactly? Uh, tacos. tacos. <laughs> now, roast me. How do you call a Spanish guy who forgot where his vehicle went. Why didn't you enlighten me? Car loss. <laughs> Carlos, at least my man dressed like a substitute teacher. 
pulling up here tonight. <laughs> um, just want to say, really admire the look uh, and the shoes, man. They're trying to connect with the youth a little bit more. <laughs> Love it. Platform clown shoes. Can we get a honk in the chat? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think it's funny he called you, you look like a substitute teacher, because I was thinking more like a budget Steve. <laughs> Says budget shocks. <laughs> Carlos, I'm too nice to roast you. Go ahead, go ahead, roast me, oh, try it. Okay, what's with those shoes? Shouldn't you be wearing heels? Holy... <laughs> I'm going to present you with your final challenge. You each will have 15 minutes to prepare something, any sort of performance to try to convince Carlos, the jury, and everyone here why you should be the winner. The performance can be up to two minutes and you can start preparing now. While the contestants are preparing their performance, let's go ahead and give one more round of applause to our jury. We have Orb and Jordan from Nice Texas. Jordan, you have been watching our contestants from the start. What has surprised you the most about their growth? Uh, to be honest, I'm really surprised about how they get out of their comfort zone. Uh, they're really excited about anything we, we just propose to them. So it's, yeah, it's really huge and they put a lot of effort in everything. And, and yeah, and they're like friends now. So it's, uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, what does it take to be a content creator and do you think that they have it in them? Uh, yes, I do. I mean, they, they, they all strive to be entertaining. I mean, their chants and everything, I feel like they, they actually thought about it, even though they have very limited time to think about it. Um, so, you know, they're putting their best foot forward and uh, I can definitely see them uh, making it in this business. Time is up and the contestants are now ready with their performances. Please welcome back Jack! 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 will give you an insight to the language of the ancient battle frogs. Are you prepared for the language of the ancient battle frogs? I want to hear some. Yeah, I want to hear. I want to yeah. hear. Yeah. Yeah. So, the first lesson is that it basically different parts stick together that are kind of like stuff battle frogs would say. Something like jikak, kanak, quak, brak, then they are like uh, is, uh, words that combine the, uh, the different parts together, like the or ka, so, so when you say she, na, pi, dak, that would be like a combination. Okay, you got that? Or any questions? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, so now the first challenge is for you, Orb, okay? Yes. Are, you, are you prepared? So the first challenge is to understand what I'm saying, okay? Okay. What, what does it mean? Uh, well? <laughs> it, means, it means you're a stinky boy, so you should get something of that. <laughs> oh, it says trash on it. It says trash on it. <laughs> and here, this is all for you because you learned a lot, of a lot today. So you can be proud to be a certified ancient battle frog. Next up, we have Tova. T O V A T O V A T O V A T O V A. Why should I be in G2? Let me tell you a story. I had this problem that I couldn't uh, really speak to people at first because my face got like a tomato. So I got really scared of it. But now I'm doing what I love and I don't care what people think of me. I'm just speaking from my heart. So, what I learned is that in life, life can give you a lot of bunch of things, uh, lemons, and what do you do when you get lemons? Make lemonade! Freak, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you make lemonade! And I know I'm You do the same start. trick, the same exact trick. Thank you, I love you, D2, I hope. You choose me and here's a beautiful drawing of each and every one of us eating tacos at a 
Freaking <laughs> with Jello. I think you're the clown. No, I'm the strong guy. I'm the guy with the bicep. No, you're the clown. You're the clown, 100%. I'm the, I'm the strong guy. Am I in there? No, that's Tova in the middle. I'm not in there. They're all, they're, all, they're all sticky. Orb is here. I don't have green hair. Next up is Penta Magic. Penta, 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 Penta. What I am going to get you to do is to pick a card, so maybe, uh, or you can pick a card first. Any, I can pick Anything, a card. you can pick whatever. Any card. You're not looking, are you? Don't pick no, I'm, I'm not looking. It's important that I don't see. Way. You see? Right. What I'm going to get, actually, Jordan, I'll get you to sign the card. It's okay. Big yeah, you're, to be fair. you're still actually part of this. Okay, well, I'm going to get you to do this. I'm going to get you to push this card into, the, into here, right? It's very important okay. that you push it in. Okay? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I did just that. Yeah, done. Ready? Yeah. He dropped oh. it. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I love to make this uh, come to life, and I feel like you guys might be able to help me uh, make this come to life. So I'm going to leave this with you, and hopefully uh, you like what you see. That has a, that has a ring to it. Last but definitely not least, Tasha. Mad Hatter! Mad Hatter! Mad Hatter! Mad Hatter! Mad Hatter! Mad Hatter! So, I'm going to perform a little rap for you guys. My name is Mad Hatter. I'm not much of a rapper. I see people looking sad. I'm like, hey, what's the matter? I'm a dancer, not a faker. If I have to, I'll flex on them haters. Now, 10K would be amazing. Yes, I agree. But a contract with G2 would mean the entire world to me. Listen, I may not be a clown, but I speak from my heart. Listen to the sound. I bring a fresh change of pace to the creation scene because being vulnerable is not an easy thing. And at the end of the day, I want everyone to know I'm an awkward, nervous girl who's going to run this show. jury has finally reached their decision. Let's bring the finalists back on stage. Well guys, we've reached the final moment where we have two awards to give away today. One, a medal for the winner of Making the Squad season two, and two, an award from Nice Cactus. Jordan, I'll let you present and explain it. Golden Cactus is for the most favorite uh, contestant who has been part of this show. So I will present Josh as a winner of the Nice Cactus Golden. That's an honor. I mean, I tried very hard in all the challenges. You know, being consistent, that's something that uh, I always strive to be. I strive to be the best at like anything I try. And so the, the challenges I took very seriously. And I wanted to just show my best and everything. Well, all that's left to do is announce the winner of Making the Squad. So, Carlos? The winner is... From the beginning of this competition, I thought I was going to be out the first round. And 
because I was not a confident person. I was not the funniest person. I was not a consistent person, but I just did my best to grow and I'm just so shocked that I'm ah, this is so cool. <laughs> for watching. Have a good night. would have been happy with any outcome because I think all of the contestants, they did a great job. I didn't win the prize, but that was not the point here. As I said previously, the best experience was getting to know each other. I feel so honored to be given the Cactus Award, you know. To me, like, pushing myself and every challenge I'm given is, is what I love to do. Like, if I had the chance to work with you two, that would be like, I would be, boom, very, super happy. Yeah. What's next for me? Anything can happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm staying two more weeks to explore. <laughs> this is definitely not the last time you're going to be seeing Penta Magic. I think I'm so happy for Tasha. She uh, definitely deserves it. You know, she comes from a small town. She doesn't really get the opportunity like this. And this is going to be huge for her. I'm very glad that Tasha got it. Like, when I first met her, she was very, a very uh, non-confident person. And seeing her develop that much, that really shocked me, so I'm very grateful she got it. I can't believe I won, like this. I'm so speechless that I won, this is so crazy. And I just gotta be, I just gotta be me. It doesn't matter what happens at the end of the day, you're you, you know? And the only person who knows who you are is you. So as long as you are okay with yourself, then it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks.